I'm sure there are companies that come in and are overnight successes, uh, but I'm not aware of any of them. <laughs> we think of China as the China market, but it's not. It's many different markets. There's a north and there's a coastal and there's a south and there's a west. The offices of the Canadian Trade Commissioner Service across China are an excellent way to understand the local market. It takes time to build the relationships, to understand the market, to figure out your strategy and being able to then push that out and stick to it. Uh, so persistence is really the, the key. Um, also uh, not being overconfident, so willing, a willingness to learn from others what they've done, even in other sectors. I do remember years ago, you know, the story of an Asian firm that was negotiating a partnership with a, with a U.S. firm. And in the middle of the negotiations, the U.S. firm sued the potential Asian partner in a U.S. court, which was normal business practice in the U.S., but was found to be a little unusual from the Asian firm's perspective. Uh, I, so there's a, it, it's a different business culture, and the cultural element is important, but I, I personally think it's, it's less weighty than it was when you were dealing on a more institutionalized basis with with the government of China. The private sector is moving so quickly. The drive to a consumer society is really evident uh, with each visit that I come back for. If you are interested in China and you've come and you want to pursue it, the organization that I'm the president of, the Canada China Business Council, which has been around for 40 years, membership in our organization helps you share stories with like-minded three, over 300 Canadian companies who are active in the China business. I don't find it much different than doing business elsewhere in countries I've worked, in Indonesia or in Spain or in Canada uh, in, in my career. And it's ultimately, it's a trust in the person across the table, whether it's uh, internally in your organization or whether it's in your partnerships abroad. Uh, because when, you know, if, time, if there's a bump in the road, you need to know the person at the other end uh, is aligned with your interests and is, is trying to solve the problem in the same way. So uh, the, the, people, the people aspect is absolutely critical. So bottom line, lots of opportunities. There are lots of ways to mitigate the risks and take advantage of what is the world's fastest growing middle class.